Steve here with Table Rock Tea Company. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to make a traditional oolong tea. It's not that difficult, just a few simple steps that you can do at home. The quality of your tea will depend on how well you do the process, but also on the climate in which your tea is grown. So come along, follow me, and let's make some tea. Again, the tradition is to pick two leaves in a bud. This is in the industry called a standard pluck, and it will yield your most tender tea. You kind of do a pinch with your fingernails, and that's how you end up getting the tea. You just kind of pinch it and pull it, and that's called the pluck. The end result of your pluck usually looks something like this. So now that we've plucked our tea, it's time to let it wither. To do this, we just put it in a bowl or spread it out on a tray and leave it in the sun. Uh, when the tea starts out, it's a little bit uh, stiff. You can see that it's still um, green and quite um, springy. And after about 90 minutes or so, as it withers, it'll become kind of limp. It loses a lot of its moisture, and that's exactly what we want for the next step of the process, which is rolling. So here we have our withered tea leaves. I put them next to some newly plucked leaves there on the right so you can see the difference. The withered leaves have been sitting in the sun for about 90 minutes and that's all we've done to them. So as you can see, they are withered. And if you pick them up, they are very uh, limp and pliable. And that's exactly what we're looking for as we head into the rolling phase. So now you can see all of our withered tea. Some of it's green, some of it is starting to turn a slight tan color. And now all we are going to do is simply take all of it in between our hands and we are going to roll it. And that's it. It's not rocket science. The idea is to crush the cell walls. And when we crush the cells, what happens is it releases the juices inside those cell walls and it starts the chemical reaction that's key to the next step, which is oxidation. Some people will call that process fermentation, but it's not really fermentation, it's just oxidation. So again, we keep grinding it and we roll this around and you can do it as much or as little as you like, but we find that the more that you do it, the closer to a black tea you get. It just helps the juices react more. So I'll be doing this for a few minutes and then you can stay tuned and come back next time for the fermentation or the oxidation process. Traditionally, tea is rolled by hand. However, with increased demand and productivity, machines have been developed to basically simulate the idea of putting leaves in the palm of your hands and rubbing them together. This is a tea rolling machine from China, and we have probably one of the only ones of these in the country. Most people don't do this process here in the United States because it's time consuming. When we use a roller machine, that process is called the orthodox tea making process. You may read about that sometime. And it takes longer and it's a little trickier, but we think it makes a better product in the end. As you can see, this is our ball of withered and rolled tea. And we're going to leave it kind of tightly packed like this so that the juices have time to interact with one another. And that'll help the oxidation process. While we go, you'll see this turn from green to tan to almost blackish brown. And that's kind of, again, what we're looking for depending on the degree we want to oxidize this oolong tea. After the tea is oxidized for about 24 hours, this is the result. We call this forest fire oolong. As you can see, there are bright oranges and some greens, some fiery yellows, things like that. The next step then is to spread it out on a baking sheet and bake it at about 250 degrees until the rest of the moisture is taken out. That'll stop the oxidation process and it'll make it safe for storage. Well, that's pretty much the basics of making a traditional orthodox oolong tea. Thanks again for tuning in to see what's brewing here at Table Rock Tea Company.